That's right, we're back in Scoutcraft and this is episode 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay now the new faction or border map, I don't know what you want to call this, but slowly but surely we're figuring out who's where and uh, and who's building what. And we've now got something like 12 YouTubers in this series, so it's heating up. A few things have changed since last episode, as you can see here, we have a few trees. We did originally get rid of all of them, <laughs> but you can see we're going to get a nice little house on the go here with a mine underneath the front of it, which I have dug a little bit, and we found a ravine. Um, and we've also planted down some trees, because we actually dug every single tree on the map, and that could very quickly become a problem. We'd have to start digging apart our house just to actually get wood. So what we're going to do today, today we're going to try and finish off this build here and we're also going to go find and meet a couple of people. Um, maybe here and here. Whoa, okay. There's an absolute platoon of skeletons that have just come out of the woods. We haven't set our bed yet, have we? Fortunately, this isn't hardcore like my other series. So when we do inevitably get shot to death by these skeletons, oh, oh no, we haven't set our, we haven't set our bed yet. Oh wow, we're almost dead. Actually, I didn't realize we're actually really almost dead. How did that happen? When did that happen? <laughs> this is really problematic. We might die and we've not set our spawn. We've not set our spawn. We haven't set our spawn. We haven't. Oh, we did set our spawn. Oh my goodness. I just thought I was going to respawn back at the spawn. Because we're going for a Scotland theme, we're going to try and completely cover the island in trees. So that, And then basically, we'll get these nice little like, wooden huts. We're going to go for like an old clan kind of feel, where we'll have like the entire island is like trees, and with maybe a little open farmland plain bit, and then like nice paths that are like hidden between them. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to dig another luxury apartment for some animals to keep. Um, if you saw my multiplayer episode 11 on Minecraft, then you'll know that um, I spare no expense in making sure that the animals that I keep on my farms um, are well looked after. So this is going to be um, the pit of luxury, and we're going to fill that with sheep. Here we go. Look, it's home sweet home. Come on in. Now, don't tell me that this isn't just brilliant. And, excuse me please, sir. There you go, that's your life now. <laughs> Enjoy. So can we make them uh, do the business? Yes, it looks like they're doing the business. They seem to be looking at each other quite a lot. Now can we make them do the business? Or are they all juiced out? Oh, he's all juiced out. So you can kind of see what I'm going for here. So you'll come up, this is the idea. You're going to come up here, you're going to have this nice little- Whoa, he ruined my plan. <laughs> you're going to come up to this nice little- Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to do YouTube. If you would be so kind. Okay, I shall help you on your way. Actually, oh, okay, we actually did a lot of damage there. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, so you come up here into this nice little, like, entrance area. I know that nothing looks good yet, but it will. And then there's this little bit that will go down here to some sort of, like, chest sorting room or something like that. And then you can come up here, and that'll be, like, the bedroom area here. I'm not even going to make it, I'll make, like, the bedroom just this bit, and then the rest of it balcony, because I don't want it to be, like, too big. Okay, now that I've got my sheep and one has grown, we're going to try and feed another one, see if we can make them fall in love. Okay, there's a little bit of incest going on here, but, you know, uh, can we get him, can we get him to make a baby? No, okay, fine. Okay, that's fine for now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually probably going to go meet Vloop. Um, I had a collaboration in the pipeline with Vloop for a really long time, but because there were so many different series going on, you can't do like 10 different series of different people. So um, this is a perfect opportunity for us to all get into one server. And um, there's a few of us, there's four or five of us in at the minute. Um, all get into one server uh, and all kind of do it together. And what it means there's not as much of a commitment. We can just kind of see each other when we see each other. So um, I'm going to run over there uh, and see what's going on. Yeah, we're going to bring a peace offering to Vloop of a treasure map, a gold ingot, and an apple. Um, and actually, let's go for an emerald also. Um, just to keep him sweet, you got to keep him on side because I don't want my base to get raided. Um, there's a couple of YouTubers, um, one in particular, Sweet Abu, and also a guy called Colorblind, who I think on here is called something different, I'm not sure yet, um, are both saying that they're going to come and invade my island, so <laughs> I've got to make as many friends as I can. This might be this might be the territory territorial holdings of Saf. I will once again just throw the map onto the screen right now, just so you guys can kind of remember what's where. Oh no, that's not what I expected. To be. Oh, that's a shipwreck. I actually recognize this shipwreck from having seen Saf's video actually interestingly Saf's obviously got his first Scoutcraft video out and I watched that and saw this and I was like oh so I know where I am he's over there because I've seen this and that up there is going to be the lands of Dutronator in there so Saf is doing quite well he's got another portal quite a few bits and bobs 
And look, he's got a massive farm as well. So if I'm right in saying Vloop is in this direction, he's like down here somewhere. Oh my goodness, look at this. I just came over the hill to the most unbelievably massive pack of pigs I've ever seen. How many are there? So much meat, because I don't know where I'm going. This is, the this is the way that I came to get here in the first place. So I think there's like woodland on the other side of this, and I think he's somewhere there. I'll trade dirt for food. <laughs> Degenerator says, what a tempting offer. <laughs> Everyone seems to just be starving to death. Weirdly. Come on, let me up. How about potatoes? Oh, what is that down there? No, you're joking me. No, you're joking me. Have we just done a full 360 lap and found, re-found Saf's base? How have I done that so badly? By the time we find Vloop, we'll have had to have eaten all his food and <laughs> sold his gold. I might just go see someone else instead. I might just go try and find Deutronator or something. We tried really hard to find Vloop. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I was unsuccessful, so... Except I don't want to be traversing through a jungle biome, so I'm going to follow this round. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll give Deutronator the gifts that were intended for... Uh, is he on? He is. He is on. I'll give Deutronator the gifts that were intended for Vloop. Vloop, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. So what I was going to say is, if I couldn't find Vloop in just a normal biome, then my chances of finding Deutronator in here are very, very slim. Okay, we're heading in the right direction to go meet Saf. We're going to go meet up with Saf, because he's the only person we can find... What an absolute failed expedition. <laughs> Why am I so bad? We are we are chilling. I hope he doesn't mind, but we're going to use Saf's furnace. Does Saf has a, have a furnace? Where is Saf's furnace? He must have some other, like... Oh, here he is! Here he is, the man of the hour! The man of the hour, he's in full diamond. Let's jump into VC. Hey! <laughs> hey, that <laughs> took us a while to get time. that... Yeah, it took some while yeah. to get the VC going. How are you doing, Saf? Uh, I'm doing fine. I'm actually gonna hop in bed. It's just nice to see a familiar face. I've spent the last hour pretty much just running around trying to find Vloop, and then I got lost in Deutronator's jungle, and it's just been <laughs> it's just been a disaster, mate. So it's nice to finally see someone. Oh, do you know what? I actually got so lost when trying to find Vloop that I started at your base and somehow did a full circle and ended up back at your base, and I found your base again, and I was like, oh, this must be Vloop, and then I was like, no, no, it's <laughs> it's Sav. This is a uh, super smart. Can smelter. I use a furnace? Can I use yes, furnace, so so I'll show you how it works. Whoa, um, hold on. What first, is that? Yeah, it's a, it's a whole contraption. So I'm gonna just <laughs> let you do the entire process. Do you have anything you want to smell? Uh, yeah, I've got I've got a bunch of okay. food from my travels, like genuinely, okay. like a stack of food. Basically, this is a furnace that works four times as fast as a normal furnace. What? That's that's basically what it is. So what you do is in this chest you put. All the coal you have, uh huh. Okay. You just put in. it in there. On the top oh, chest, you put whatever you whatever you want to smelt. Oh look at that! Oh look at that! And it's sucking them out. It's just yeah, gonna get a gonna, bunch of sticks. It's gonna on go through the hopper. Oh, there's some sand in there already. Uh, the coal is not being used. No, I don't know where the coal's going. <laughs> <laughs> where, did you, where did it go? <laughs> I don't. I think your thing's it's broken. Not, oh, it just came even. down into the bottom chest. No, I did put it ah. in there. But it just goes oh, into the bottom chest. Look, <laughs> your thing's broken, mate. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what broke? It shouldn't be broken. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a minute. <laughs> this is truly fascinating stuff. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like anything you break around here, it's just okay. gone. It's nice to see that your episode is going just as badly as mine is. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay, is it going now? Is it going in? Is it going in? Yes, again? well done. Yes. Oh, I fixed it. Okay, so the chest just had to be one block you know, higher. That's I just want to say, you, you know your whole chest, that could, uh, furnace that does it four times faster. I would have had that food like th 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I just cooked it. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Originally, I was bringing these gifts for Vloop, uh, but I got lost and I decided no. Okay, I'll give <laughs> No, I'm the, I'm the rebound gift. <laughs> no, you're not even, you're the rebound rebound. There's an yeah. emerald, a gold, and a treasure map. Just It's for an you. honor. It's an honor. I, I'm so happy that I'm the first person you thought of when, when you got <laughs> yeah. these items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly it, mate. It was just, I thought, I thought, you know who needs these? Sap. Oh, wait, you can sit with two people in one boat now. Wait, what? Okay. No, you're joking. Oh, yeah, yeah, this can. is epic! No way! Yeah. yeah, that's an actual thing now. Oh, I can see it. Oh, mate, this is brilliant. It's like a proper adventure. How do you go third person again? F5. F5. 
<laughs> Here we go. It's the boys. <laughs> it's the boys. Wait, did he turn that into a base? Did he turn this boat? Oh my god, he's right there. He's there. Look. Is he? Where? Yeah, I can't he's see. There. He's here. <laughs> he is as well. Mate, I was here like 20 minutes ago. Oh, I like what he's doing here, actually. This is actually a really good idea. I kind of like this as well. This is kind of what I should be doing. Man. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, should I do Mate, I like what hey. you're doing here, man. I really oh, like yeah. what you're doing here. I thought, you know, why not just take advantage of this and turn it into a little home? Wait, it's do you want great. to know what drives me mad? Is I was here literally like half an hour ago when I was trying to find Vloop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've taken it over. Oh, yeah. this is good. I like it. I'm this is like my gifts. temporary base. And then I'm going to move deeper into the jungle when I feel more grounded, you know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and then set up a massive sort of treehouse. But this is one of my... Yeah, start. This is one of my start builds anyway, because this is a cool little cove area, isn't it? Is, it? it really is. I'll ride you a bit back, Scott. Get get in the. Uh, oh in oh the yeah, that would be lovely, mate. That would be absolutely <laughs> lovely, mate. Give me a, give me yeah. a. You'll you'll have to come back and visit when I've got this set up into a nice little home. Yes, we will. hundred percent, mate. hundred percent. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm waving the dictionary. I'm gonna crack on my hands. build. I'm gonna crack on with do. the build. See All right, bye. 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 Well, I think it's safe to say that that was one of the most horrifically failed adventures I've ever done. Ooh, look at this down here. That looks like... We should use this F5 more. That looks like a shipwreck. I wonder, has it been raided? The chances are probably yes. Yes, of course it has. Saf's been in here. Of course he has. He's been everywhere. <laughs> He's absolutely cleaned the place out. Brilliant. And now I don't know which way I'm going again. Oh, I'm lost again. That was the second episode of Scoutcraft, so hopefully you enjoyed. Um, like I said, if you want to go check out the other guys' channels, check out their perspectives and the interactions, all that kind of stuff, the links will be in the description below. I'm um, hopefully going to explore and meet some new people, hopefully find a vloop at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to leave it there. So if you enjoyed that video, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, I'd massively recommend subscribing because there's going to be a lot of this content coming out. And I think this series has a lot of potential. So, you know, we'll see the good things to come, I hope. But uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed that or you want me to go explore anywhere else or I missed anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I shall hopefully catch you again in season episode three, rather. <laughs>